on, let's go look at my desk. Hey Crystals, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name's Kristen and this is Kristen Makes. On today's video, we are going to do an exciting vlog that you guys have been asking me to do. I'm going to show you my workspace setup and it's not that far anyway because it's just right there. <laughs> so have a look, ta-da! Alright, so starting on the left hand side of my desk, I have my standing soft light box. I don't want to put the camera there because you might blind yourself. So we're going to move on to these items here. Of course, the first one is this amazing scrapbook. Yay! Look how thick that is. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to finish it because there are many of you who want me to do a scrapbook tour. So if you want to see a scrapbook tour vlog, let me know in the comments below so that I can make one for you guys. And I'm really just excited to skim through all the pages and remember all the memories that we had along the way from day one till the end. Next we have here are three containers or storages. I'll show you guys briefly what's inside so let me put you down. All right the first one is just a container for all my gadgets. My camera equipment like my charger and batteries and my cord. So that goes in there. The second one is like a pencil case. I put all my gel pens in here, my markers, and all my writing supplies. Sharpies, gel pens, more Sharpies. <laughs> so they're all in here. I'm not gonna show you all of it because there's too many. It has this on the zipper so that I would know that it's my markers. And then the last one is also just a container for my camera's lens cover. And that's it. Over here, you will see my phone holder, and this is what I use for when I take videos of my scrapbook. You know how I always slide my scrapbook and then open it up, and then do the thing, and then start doing scrapbook things. <laughs> so yes, this is the equipment that holds my phone. My sister Lorena got this for me on my birthday. It's from Amazon and I think I can link this to you guys. I'll leave the link in the description below if I'm able to find it. Down here is my beautiful mat. This is the background that you guys always see in my scrapbook videos. Originally though, the design wasn't this. It was colorful. It was a design that I didn't preferably like so I covered it with black paint and with this marble sticker. It's a foam mat so it's really nice to work with and it's big enough for you to be able to do your projects. So before we move on to the right hand side of my desk, let's talk about the desk. This desk is from Walmart. It's foldable. That's why there's a line here. There's a crease here and if you can tell it's short. It's really short and there's a reasoning behind it. I like my desk being short so that I can be able to to stand up and sit again and stand up and sit again and stand and sit and stand and sit without having to step onto something to be taller than my table. So since I'm short, I'm just about five one and a half. I want my desk to be shorter than me so that whenever I want to look at my art on an aerial perspective or a bird's eye view, I get to see it right away without having to stand on my stool. So I usually sit here. This is my stool. There we go. I sit here and then when I want to see my page or my work, I stand up and I get to see everything from a higher perspective and then I sit down again. That is why I like everything short because if I had a normal desk which is taller and a chair that is taller, I would end up having to stand up and then step on my chair and then get up higher so that I can see an aerial view. and. That's really hard, especially when your phone is up here. You want to be able to get a good view really quickly and then sit back down again rather than go on here, stand up here, and then look down. And you know, it's just a lot of hassle. So for me, having a shorter desk, a shorter stool is just easier logistically for my body. And when you're working on a lot of scrapbook pages or projects, sometimes it hurts your back. So I want to be able to stand up right away, move around, and then sit back down. The nice thing about this stool too is there's like a footrest so I can put my feet on here whenever I want to. So that's it for the actual desk. So now let's move on to the right hand side. What is going on over here? Let me set you down so I can explain better. Let's start with this. 
This one is my double-sided tape. You guys see this often or a lot in my scrapbooking videos. Oops. I got this from Dollarama and I believe if you buy a set, you get two of these. These are just under $2. So it's very affordable and it's so perfect to have, especially when you're working on a project. It's really easy to just glue things down. The next one is my puncher. You guys love this one a lot. This one is specifically called a corner rounder puncher. Some have different kinds of designs, but this one specifically is a three-way corner punch. One here, here, and here. And that's how it looks at the bottom and it's just really nice to have I like it when I'm able to round off my pages so that not everything is sharp edgy and pointed that's why I like having that around next to me and also everything is on the right because I am right-handed so I want to be able to grab things quickly with my right hand I have my scissors here just your normal regular scissors to uh, snip off any excess or my washi tape or if I want to make the paper smaller to fit in the scrapbook. Next here is a jar filled with some items that you are probably already familiar with because they always show up in my videos. So this one is a glue pen that I got from Walmart. Remember when I took you guys out at Walmart to show you where I get these? Next is my tweezers. This is very deadly, that's why it has a covering. So look at how sharp that is. Very sharp. So make sure that when you're done using your tools to put them away, especially if they're sharp, Make sure there's a covering of some sort. This thing has hurt me before. It scratched me. <laughs> so be very careful. Next, we have my pens and pencil. So this one is a gel pen right here. This one is a mechanical pencil. I use the 0.7 mm for when I sketch and then uh, just a regular pen for writing. I also have an eraser here. I just made the cover with craft paper because I like the look of craft papers. As you can tell with my scrapbook, it's also made of craft paper. And then inside, I have two medium-sized rose gold clips that I use to hold down my pages whenever I need it. So it's here. Next is just another jar. I use this in my bullet journal for May. I put water in here because I did some water coloring and that's the only reason why it's up here. I haven't put it away yet. Next here on the side, I have this stackable small container and it's perfect for my kneadable eraser down here. And I can also carry this outside if I want to sketch outside. So it's such a perfect place to store my kneadable eraser. If you guys use this and you're an artist too, you know that when you put your kneadable eraser down somewhere, it starts sticking onto that item. So I want to be able to store it in a place where it's not going to stick. And since it's plastic, it's easier to pull it out. Yeah. Next is just my... Um, sharpener <laughs> and lastly is my phone holder ring it came off from my phone and i didn't know where else to store it so i just put it in there maybe i'll use this for something else next time but for now it's just a little home for that <laughs> at the back we have another pencil case filled with gel pens i use them for my bullet journal so that's why I keep them here, so it's handy. That is it for the top part of my desk. Okay, so next we are going to move on to the bottom left part. You might be wondering why they're all on the floor and the reason is because I want to be able to grab all my items whenever I need it. I can just pull it up really quickly and then I can stick it on my scrapbook or my artwork. By doing this, I'm able to cut the time that I use in fiddling around or moving back and forth to and fro. That would allow me to be able to finish my project much quicker and more efficiently. So that is the reason why they are all here on the floor same with these items down here and yeah it just works so perfectly for me so let's start with my stickers collection 
This container is from Dollarama and right now it houses my stickers but it's not super organized up here on the top right so maybe one of these days I can fix it. Let me know if you want a vlog of me organizing my stationery and scrapbook supplies. I can definitely make one for you in the future if you want to see that. These are all the stickers that I own. Three and a half rows and then over here some extra stickers as well and my sticker books that I flipped through during my scrapbooking. So yeah, that's it for my stickers. Next at the back here are my washi tape collection. It's not, it's really messy, <laughs> sorry. I've fixed this before. I made sure it was nice and clean, but I keep using them all the time. So that is why it's a mess. But one of these days I will organize them and hopefully I can organize this with you guys in the future. But right now it lives here and I'm gonna have even more because my sister April bought me so much scrapbook supplies. Do you guys see that bag over there? The black one? Let's zoom in. That black duffel bag is filled with scrapbook materials. So at the April, thank you so much. Big shout out to you. And I can't wait to share that big bag with you guys. It's such a huge haul. She's also really excited. So hopefully we can do that in the future too. I'll link all the stores of where she got everything from. So that's it for the washi tape. I do have a container here with the cloud cutter. You guys have seen that before because I used it to cut my silver YouTube play button. This one here. Let me show you. Is a washi tape cutter. So what you do is you grab a washi tape and then you clip this on. And you see how there's a bunch of teeth down there? So when you peel your washi tape, you just rip it off from the teeth and it cuts and gives a little texture on the washi tape that looks like zigzags. And it's really cute. Okay, so down here is a chocolate biscuit box in the past and I didn't want to throw it away. So I just used it to organize my wax seal stamp collection. I haven't been able to take videos with it yet, but I am planning on using it. So let me show you guys really quickly what inside okay so we have an organizer here with all my wax beads it can definitely get more love because there's a lot of empty spaces but for right now I guess I'm okay with this because I don't really use it that much and then here is a coaster made of resin and gold outline I got it from AliExpress actually all of this is from AliExpress except for the candles the candles are from Dollarama same with this one it's also a coaster but this one's silicone so this is where I plan on stamping my wax seals because it's silicone it can handle the heat and it will not get messed up. This is the stove. Ta-da! I don't know if you guys are noticing but a lot of my items are rose gold. I guess I like the color besides white as my favorite color. I also like silver gold and rose gold. I just think they're really nice and metallic. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> and then here is a stamp. Leaf stamp or leaves. Can you see? Here are my tools. We have a stirring stick right here in the middle. And look guys, it looks like a crystal, just like you. Aww. Aww. And here is the spoon and the stamp. Lastly are the candles. I was just looking for one or two pieces but they didn't sell any. However, this is really cheap and affordable because it's only $2.50 for 32 pieces. So that's a good deal. Perhaps my family and I could use it for something else or if we need extra candles. And that's it. Let's put everything back. Okay, back there is just a mesh envelope where I store all my paper and doilies. So nothing fancy here, it's just a bunch of papers. And whenever I have extras, I just put them back here. You can see that there's a small strip there too, because I don't want to waste them. Next, this container has notebooks. And the black box in there is my glass pen. Let's open it. Ta-da! I do plan to be able to use this one day in one of our videos in the future, which is why I have that there. It's just waiting to be used one of these days. The rest are just notebooks, but let me show you quickly. This one is a notepad. 
Of course, it's a marble design. You guys know me by now. It's only $2 from Dollarama again. I always get excited when I find cheap materials and supplies. And I know you feel the same way. <laughs> so this notepad is just for me to be able to practice my calligraphy and handwriting for my bullet journal. So I want to be able to write legibly. There you go. And also swatches. I do my swatches here to see how the color looks like on paper. Here are more writings more writings, more swatches. <laughs> yeah, so that's all that's in here. So I use this notepad for that purpose. Everything else in there are just a bunch of notebooks. There's nothing inside that is much of value because they're all blank. So <laughs> let's just put this back because it's just notebooks anyway. And then we're going to move on to a container that is hidden at the back. So let's scooch this. So there is a container there where I organize all my stamp collection. So let me go grab it quickly and show you. Alright, so if you've watched my bullet journal videos, you will most definitely recognize some of the items in here. There's three levels that start with the first floor. <laughs> Four level. First level. The first level is comprised of stamps. Clear stamps. There are letters in here, shapes, feathers flowers and all that jazz plus this one this is where the silicone stamp sticks on so that when you stamp it on your paper you can see where it goes i will leave a link in the description below so you guys can see how i use them in my bullet journals on the second floor are the wooden stamps they are different fonts and this one laying down are the numbers and that's it. On the right side are the dividers. These came divided into two, four, six. But since these are big, I just took out the dividers and placed them here so that they fit. The last level or floor or the basement <laughs> are the stamps itself. I've got silver, gold, and black. This one is a big black stamp pad. And then these are like the tiny colored stamp pads that the set came with. So the silicone stamps came with small stamp pads. But yes, that is where it lives at the basement. That's it for this container. Let's put it back. Okay, moving on to the middle part of the stuff underneath my desk. Let's begin with the cork board at the back. So that is a cork board that you guys see whenever I do my AliExpress hauls. You guys will see that as my background. That's why it's there. And next is this bottom part. So let's begin with this one here. You know this. Ta-da! It's my bullet journal. So you've seen this in the past. If you watch my Bujo videos, there's nothing new here to see really. It's all the same. That is actually a printed picture from using Fomemo. I will show you guys later the machine that I used to print this sticker with. It's really cool. You can use it on your own bullet journals or scrapbooks if you want. So that's what this is. The next one is my prayer journal. This is given to me by my D group or discipleship group. So I really want to thank the girls. Shout out to you girls for giving this to me as a gift on my birthday. I really appreciate it. Inside you can write your journals. Maybe I could show you a blank page. This is how the whole spread looks like inside. On the left side, there's a verse that you can memorize for the week. There are two pages per week that you can answer. And then the verse changes again for the next week. This one is from James 1, 2-4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So if there's any one of you out there facing any trial of any kind or testing, I hope that this was able to inspire or encourage you today. On the right side is a reflection section where they give you prompt questions and you can answer them in the lines below on the next page this is actually my favorite part you get to answer the prompts so on the left here it says lord thank you you can write down all the things that you thank god for and then in the middle it says week of write down the date of the whole week
week. The teach me part is the things that you're asking God to teach you. And of course, same at the bottom, guide me, Lord, for whatever you want him to guide you with. The things on your heart could be whatever you are experiencing or feeling for that week. You can write it down. And then highlights at the bottom. Lastly, on the bottom right, prayer requests. So you can write down what you want to pray to God about. Pray for people that you love. Pray for how you want him to work in your life or how you want him to change your character. Things like that. At the top here, there's another verse. Psalm 34, 15. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. So there, it's really nice. I do this all the time every week on a Sunday to meditate on God's word and to be able to reflect on my life. So thank you, girls. Another thing about this that I really like is the part where it's, since it's blank, you can color the flowers if you want. But for me, I like to keep it simple and black and white for now. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll color them in the future. Next here is my sketchbook. You guys have already seen some of the sketches that I have here but why not? Let me show you everything. <laughs> so on the first page I just have a sketches of some girls, ladies. And here is a sketch of a woman. People say sometimes that your sketches or drawings kind of look like you but I don't know. What do you think? Does she look like me? Maybe the hair. And then this is my reimagination or redrawing of the Powerpuff Girls. Bubbles, blossoms, and buttercup. So I made them a little older and a little bit more tough looking, I guess. Bubbles has her bubble stick here and that's her power. The reason why it's colored blue is because they are poisonous bubbles. So that's what I was thinking when I drew them. And also it matches her because her color is blue and yellow. Next is blossoms. I used flowers, like deadly bladed flowers, to represent her her because if you remember Dr. X when he made the Powerpuff Girls he said sugar spice and everything nice so I thought flowers are everything nice just random thought and then Buttercup's power is lightning that she can produce from her fan and I thought that since she's spicy she's hot so lightning sometimes when it strikes on something dry it makes fire so there there they are I feel really proud of this piece but we'll see maybe we can make more art in the future I signed it on March 15th, 2022, CM4 Kristen Makes. And the next one, this is an original character that was her when she was a baby, a little girl, a young adult, and a woman. Next is just another sketch of a woman. I haven't finished her yet, but it's just half her face. <laughs> Oh, and here are just dried flowers that are from my dance students. They went outside from the lawn and just picked up some flowers and gave it to me as a bouquet. It's so cute and sweet. So I thought I would dry them and press them and maybe use them in one of my scrapbooks in the future. So that's why it's there. <laughs> That's it for my sketchbook. Next is my tracing paper. I don't really use it to trace anything. I use it for my scrapbook. So this is where I rip a piece of paper from. And the reason why I like tracing paper on my scrapbook is because it's a little translucent. So you can see what's underneath. And that's the only reason I bought this. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't trace anything. But maybe I can use it to trace something in the future. Who knows? And this envelope, this mesh envelope, is filled with colored papers so as you can see some that i've already ripped some that i've already snipped so that's all that's in there back here are just my water coloring supplies nothing fancy really it's just my palette water colors and watercolor paper that's it <laughs> so i don't really need to open that one Okay, let's move on to the right hand side of the desk. In this container, it's filled with pattern papers. So if you want to see all the designs, I showed them on my Dollarama haul. So if you want to see that video, click the link here or I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go watch that video. But these are my mom's gift to me on my birthday. She bought all of that for me because I was so sad that time. <laughs> And she knew that it would make me happy and I was going through a breakup So maybe as a parent she really wanted to cheer me up somehow and then she bought me all of this 
<laughs> I really thank her. I love you, Mama. This container used to be filled with washi tapes, but I now use it to hold my paintbrushes and my paintbrush holder. That one. I got that from AliExpress. And whenever my paintbrush is wet, I just set it on top of that to dry. I have my ruler here and just a bunch of paper again. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's just paper, paper, paper. Let's move on to that container. So this one is filled with all my coloring supplies. Like this one and all of this. Ta-da! All of this is from Dollarama. This one is from the dollar store. This is Dollarama. Dollarama, Dollarama. So most of them are from Dollarama. If you want to see my haul video of me showing these, just go to my hauls playlist. I will leave a link in the description or link it up here. At the back there, I'm gonna go get it so you can see. This is just a piece of cardboard. This one is another pencil case. It's filled with highlighters, pens, markers, and my blending stump. I use this to blend my sketches. And then there are just other more colored pens in there and highlighters. This one is my scrap envelope. So I put all my extra paper in here that I plan on using still in the future so I don't really throw everything away like as much as possible if I could still use them in the future I will so this is where I store them and then in here are my bible verses so I don't buy these a lot of you guys have been asking where I get them I just print them on a one whole piece of white sticker paper sheet and I cut them into strips that's it so you can make this in your house if you have a printer and if you have a white sheet of sticker paper you can definitely do the same or even if it's not a sticker paper you can even do it on a regular piece of paper and just glue the back and stick it on your scrapbook the container is again from Dollarama back there is a paper bag I'm gonna pull it out so I can show you what's inside it's actually just a bunch of patterned papers again <laughs> So these went on sale for 75% off at our local store. I believe it was called Rewards. So we have a store called Rewards and they have a bunch of scrapbooking supplies. It was so cheap so I made sure to get me some. I think it was 5 pages for a dollar or something like that. So look at these. So cute. There's so many different like patterns and designs. There's just too many to show, but eventually you'll see them anyway because I'll use them in my scrapbooks. In this paper bag are some of my favorite containers. I got them from AliExpress. So these two are longer and inside are some dancing people and some miscellaneous random items. Look at that watch. <laughs> I like transparent containers so I can see all my stickers quickly and it's easier for me to know where everything goes. These containers are much smaller so for comparison, let me show you, but it's thicker, see? Okay, so for these, I have my butterfly stickers in there, my round stickers in there, and more people. People stickers. <laughs> Alright, so last but not the least, let me show you the machine that I use to make a sticker of a photo of my mom and myself. So this is called Fomemo or Fomemo and it's a thermal printer so it prints things with heat you don't need to buy ink all you need are the printer paper that goes with it you should get one of these if you want to be able to print your own designs and stick them on your journals or scrapbooks and that's it for this bag That is it for today's vlog. I hope that you learned something or that you got inspired to maybe organize or fix up your own desk and workspace to match your personality, your workflow in a way that works best for you. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me in this little tour. Maybe it will change in the future. Who knows? And if it does change, I hope for the better. And again, Crystals, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, what have you. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.